So you want to make a tree. All you need to do is go to the uh, preferences and turn on the sapling tree generator. And then you can find it under curve sapling tree generator. And a little menu pops up and there's a bunch of different options that you have under here. I apologize if it's a little, uh, the video's a little jumpy. I cut out some things um, because it was going a little long. So you have a lot of adjustment you can do on the basic geometry, uh, the resolution, you have a bunch of basic shapes you can use, like the tent flame or conical, inverse conical, spherical. There's a whole bunch of them. And you can cycle through these and you can even do a custom shape and then um, do all the adjustments that you want on your own. Branch distribution, and random seed you can change that uh, there's also some presets so you can put in a douglas fir or a small pine and there it is and i'll go to a weeping willow i think and i'll show you that and there's a bunch of different things you can do i mean each of these uh, you can make little tweaks here and there if you turn on and off the bevel you go from just sort of a stick view of it to uh, sort of a 3D view. You can adjust the resolution, scale, um, branch radius ratio. Next, go to the branch splitting. And this kind of adjusts where the branches actually start splitting, how many levels of splitting you want, um, where on the trunk height do they start, um, where the secondary branches start. Uh, split height, all that, and you can cycle through all these and come up with something that that you like, and that'll be the start of the trunk of your tree and all the branches. The next thing you can go to is branch growth, and that kind of adjusts how the the branches grow, like how long they they are. Next is the pruning, and if you turn on prune, it's just like having a gardener come by and adjust the shape of the tree to get it just like you want. You can adjust the width, the base, and uh, the, all these different variations, the power, make some adjustment to the curvature. And then next we'll go to the leaves, which you've noticed it's probably missing. You have to turn on show leaves in order to get them. And under here you have a lot of things you can adjust. You can look at the leaf shape, uh, and there's a bunch of things you can adjust there, the shape of the leaves and, and various things. And also a neat little thing in here is you can animate it like it's um, sitting in the wind and if you turn on the leaf animation and the armature animation and get the wind parameters the way you like, here I'm showing the animation of this little tree that I made. And you can go and you can add materials to it and then put it in a setting and there you have it, your own little tree swaying in the breeze.